glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise that wonderful name. Praise that wonderful name. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Blessed is those that come in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for being here today at Major Faith Worship Center, USA. We always uh, like to also value uh, be in prayer for Major Faith Worship Center churches. They've had their meeting this morning. Meet Pastor Babu Magapu, great man of God. He's helping us to, to, to uh, bring the message to the people of India as well as anyone else that would have an ear to hear with, with those messages he does online as well and stuff but he's a good man of God and we're, and, and we're backing him doing great trying to do the greater works that Christ has called us to do and that's what we're here about at the Major Faith Worship Center here in USA is to bring light into the world you know it said go into all the nations you know I put it on a pen and stuff you know Mark Mark uh, uh, 1615 about going into all the nations. It was command by God. And so you'll hear some little noise in the background. I got a little music back here. Might have to turn it up so so it drowns out the air conditioner running. It was cool, but it's now it's warming up. So I had to have the air on in here and stuff to uh, uh, make it more comfortable. And are you comfortable in God today? Are you comfortable where your spirit is today? Just have a ear to hear and open up your mind, heart, and spirit today to this word. Allow this word to fill you. There's always something in it if any time you hear the word preached. And that's what it is about hearing the word preached today and knowing that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And like I said, you can find me on Major Faith Worship Center and, and, and on YouTube. You can put it in the, in the, in the Christian page and pull it, uh, uh, search bar and pull it up. I have a playlist on there as well as on, on Facebook. I place these messages on Facebook every week. And this sound, probably sounds repetitious and stuff, but you know, a lot of people don't know. Because a lot of people, and what you don't know, <laughs> it's, it's not good, it's not beneficial to you. I want this to be word to go to, out to all the world. And people can get on TikTok and Instagram and do it go viral. Let's let the things of God go viral. You know, let the word go out. There's all these opportunities out there. I preached uh, or talked to a, a group of pastors just a couple weeks back. And we was talking about how we have no excuses because we have the technology to make things go all around the world. You know, there's other there's great people like Elon Musk is doing things. With, he's doing the things to get the internet all around the world by putting these Starlinks all up in, the, in there where it, and stuff. But God, we can use it for the glory of God. We can use all things for the glory of God, especially these things right here, these cell phones, you know, the technologies here, you know, and people want to use it for the wrong reasons, you know, and stuff, but we can use it for the right reasons. Everything we have is a resource, our bodies, the technologies that we have, we can have, use those things for the glory of God. And that's what my point here is with that today. You know, let us use these things and don't let the devil hoard them up for himself. You know, God don't like those things for the for, for allow him to do his work. We've got to stop him. Christ come to stop him from doing those works. He he said that he come to do greater works, and but we would to do the way, away with the works of the devil, and but to bring wholeness and, and wellness to the body of Christ, and to the to the, to the work of the kingdom that was here from the from the get go, you know, from the first and from the beginning, you know, if you don't understand what get go is, <laughs> you know, I might have a little southern accent for you today and stuff, but that's what it's about, you know, that's that's. Let's you know get her done like the, like the cable man says. <laughs> Let's get her done, you know. And that's, today I'm just gonna have a little short message because I want to also do communion. Uh, we haven't done it in a while and stuff. And, you know, and it says to do it often in remembrance of me. And that's what we're gonna do today is do communion. We're gonna have a prayer and then do communion at the end of this this, this uh, video and stuff. And, uh, I'm trying to do it pretty fast so I can 
get it on the internet. I usually can get the Facebook one on because I have to first download it to the computer, then I have to download it to Facebook. <laughs> There's two processes there, and then the same way with uh, with YouTube, I, I, I had to download it to, to YouTube as well and stuff. So usually YouTube, I get it on there by this afternoon, and, and so so you can get it, and then I put stuff in the description page on on, on, on how to to leave you if you. If you Center's prayer on there that you can help it to lead others to Christ, and so because they taking away all excuses, you know that's what it is. When you hear this, you you you're challenged then to go and do the things of God. So if you don't want to be challenged to hear the things and do the things of God, you know this is not the page. Because <laughs> and God brought you here so that you could hear. And God wants you to do His great things and do His great work and to pay the and, and, and help pay the way to salvation for others. And that's what we're going to talk about: the path of salvation today. Are you on that path? Have you taken that path? Do you know where the path where the path is? You know, straight is the way. The narrow, straight and narrow is the path to, to salvation. Broad is the way to destruction. This is all a word, and you can find the word, and, and, and you can Google it. If you don't know, have a Bible, you can get a Bible at, at, at ChristianBook.com. I put this little magazine and this website because they're good and the good prices, and you can go there and get any kind of book stuff for the grown-ups, for the children, and their videos. There's everything that you need. All the resources that you need is right here. You can get them. I've sent Bibles to other pastors and bought Bibles for myself and, and books for myself as well. And you can get also through, through uh, Sid Roth's his Supernatural program. You can go pull up uh, his program as well. He has great, he has a, a, some great Bibles on there as well as programs to help edify you and so that you can go out and to edify others by having that light of Christ in you. You need that light of Christ in you today in this darkened world where where now, you know, you know, they're, they're rising up against the word. They're rising up against the word and the, and the things that God's trying to do. You know, they wonder where 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 sometimes, you know, certain rights aren't aren't righteous. <laughs> certain rights aren't righteous when you can go out and kill Babies before they're before they're born, you know, you know, even Herod tried to kill all the firstborn, you know, and, and Pharaoh, and they tried to you try to stop the, the will and purpose of God. It's nothing to do with them individuals. It's about stopping the will and purpose of God. You got to understand what is behind these things. What is the true meaning and the purpose and points behind all these things that are going on in this world today is to stop the purpose and will of God and, and from the kingdom of God increasing the each early death. You know, you don't want to see people die in their youth. You don't want to see babies die. I know we've, we've had um, um, two uh, miscarriages and, you know, one one child, he was pre more premature and he, he, he lived but he. He challenged this world for 13 days before he did die, you know, and stuff. But and um, you know, then we had another one and stuff. Shortly after that, and, and that, that baby died also within a, a, a day, you know. But it's just that, you know, but in here someone could just just go to a, to a, a murderer and allow that them to murder their child. Would you allow someone else to murder your child? That's what you're doing when you have abortion. Allowing someone else legally signing your name to a, to a piece of paper saying that someone else can murder your children. Do you want someone else murdering your children? And this, you know, this might be a, a news topic, or, but it, it is a serious situation. But the church needs to pray, and the church needs to continue to pray and, 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 and allow God to, to, to intercede in this, all this, and. and, and bring these people to, 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 to justice and, and, and right thinking and stuff. And, 
and the same with the person, the people that's, that, that's, you know, there's situations out there with people, you know, they get in dire straits probably, and, and, and they don't know what to do. But our, our alternative is to turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus today. Allow Jesus to, be, to tell you what to do. Don't lean on the man, the arm of man, but, but seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. That's what it's about, seeking God and his righteousness. And you'll know, because you'll see the, the path of salvation, the path of righteousness, the path of, and the truth and the way to go. And that's through Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going to talk about today's message. Last week I talked on, on Father's Day. It was also my birthday and stuff. But that last week we talked about finding a father's heart. you got to find the father's heart. That is the, that is the path of, uh, uh, of righteousness. That is the path to be on. That is the place to be. Because that's what you wanted to be when you were a child. You wanted to be as close to your family, parents' heart as you could. Because you, you, you had great favor by and, 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 and with your parents when you was in, 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 the, in their mind's eye and in their heart. And that's what it's about today. We also, like I say, this word here today is about seeing the path to salvation. Seeing the path to salvation. Because many, many can't see it. But that's why the word is preached so many can. It says, seeking you shall find. you got to be looking first. you got to be seeking and looking. That you won't see it. It can be right there at the, right there, like the people say sometimes, right there on the end of your, the end of your nose. And, and you, but you can't see it. You know. So we gotta seek see the path to righteousness to salvation or righteousness. That's what it's about today. We've got to allow if you don't see it, allow your eyes to be open today. Take those blinders off. Allow your eyes to see the things that's and see by, by, through the Holy Spirit what this word is, and hear what this word is saying. We got to know a lot, and we got to be hearers as well. You know, because it says, I stand at the door and knock. So if you're not listening, you're not going to hear when he knocks. There's sorry, and people say, well, I don't know. Um, I, I, God's calling me a knock. He's calling you. You know, you know, this world wants to swallow you up, but God is calling you to be a, a part of the kingdom of God today. And you can open up your heart, mind, and spirit and soul today and listen to this message and allow this message to open up to you. And now I want to give a few accolades to different pastors I know and stuff. And, uh, and I, you know, uh, Independent Fellowship Church of the Living Word, Pastor Jack Whitlow, great man of God and stuff. Their, their, their church in the Lexington area, in the uh, in the Lexington, Red Bank area, <laughs> but, uh, and stuff, and, you know, believe prayer for that church as well. Pleasant Pine Independent um, uh, Baptist Church, Pastor John Richburg, great man of God, great, great mentor to me as well. Hope for the Lost, Pastor uh, Willie Burke. Great, another great man of God, witnesses before all, a lot of people with his stuff and through his job and, 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 and around and, and, and got a great heart for the, for, for, for the Lord. Trinity Union Ministries Pat, uh, Apostle Bridget Green, another Pat, great pastor and stuff for you ladies that need a, need a, 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 a sometimes ladies like a little secret place with a, a friend, a, a, a bestie. You know, let her be your bestie, cause she she can she can uh, 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 help you to get closer to God. She she's a great a great woman of God. And then Maurice Mayo, uh, my my uh, uh, brother in Christ Ministries, he's 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 a great a great witness of the of the heart of God and and and, and love of God. It's just it's, brother, it him and his his family are, are, are instruments to the, to the kingdom of God and tools used by the Lord, but mightily by God. And that's, like I said, just a few things there, and now we're going to get into the Word so I can also get the communion, try to get this done within 30 to 40 minutes and stuff. But God bless, and I, and I hope you uh, uh, 
get this word or watch this video and you know and, and, and drop me a comment like I said on, on YouTube or on the Facebook you know hit me a like you know we, and, and share it that's what it's about everything we do is about sharing you know that's why I do this is to share with you because God has shared so much with me and it blessed me and, 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 and helped me to help this pastor here over in, in India you know and it doesn't just have to be India if you want to go and do it as well I can show you a model a way to do it you know start with one person you know it, it was just me and him built a friendship and a relationship in Christ we had a relationship in Christ and we built a friendship and now we're sharing that relationship to others and that friendship with others and so now we're, 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 we're starting on our seventh church you know we're building these little pocket churches all over India you know and you know, if, if you can help you can help uh, uh, you can do a Western Union or, or to, to uh, Babu Megapu B-A-U M-A-G-A-P-U Pastor uh, Babu Megapu you can go go uh, go to Western Union and send him a Western Union you know and stuff he don't mind you can go uh, you can put the app you can put a Western Union app on your phone and you can send everything it's easy to send you don't mind sending Amazon all your money <laughs> you don't mind sending a uh, home shopping network all your money you don't mind going to walmart.com and sending all your money but send it where it's going to do some good you know this is good preaching here I, I don't I, I, you know I'm not a solicitor uh, soliciting you, you 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 do what you you feel God is leads you to do and that's what I do I did what God felt I feel like God has led me to do and you know that's a lot of these I'm not a tele evangelist, you know. You know, I'm not gonna send you a little little vial of water, you know, <laughs> and tell you that that's gonna cure your cure all your problems, you know, or a token, or or, or or a prayer cloth, you know, prayer cloths work, but because I believe me, I, I know, but I'm not gonna do that, you know. I, I give things away. I just gave this pastor a, about a hundred some pence, but it you gotta understand it's a point of contact you want one I can get you one you can put it in the, uh, you can ask me for one and I can send you and send you get you one and stuff I don't mind doing that and stuff it shows your power and uh, of it as a point of contact I sent it to him his daughter took a, S, a, 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 a SAT uh, test and out of 600 she scored like a, a 590 something she was the second in her uh, in her class <laughs> and stuff and so so that shows you and, and stuff and, and how, how, how the power of God works through just small things and that's what we're doing is doing in small churches you know I don't have great expenses but you know together we we, we find he helps us to find little small churches that might need just a, a roof or a door, you know, or just lifted someone to lift up their spirits. You know, we pray and we, we, we Zoom together with these pastors and get together with these pastors and talk to them and find out and stuff. And you can do the same thing. You can Skype with people all over the world. You can, you can check on, online to anyone in this world. And you might know someone that's just a, a, a new pastor that just wants a little help. And that you can be that help. You know, it doesn't, like I say, this have to be India. Because we want, he wants to go to, to Africa and, 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 and different other countries as well. Because he wants his light to shine into all nations. And that's what the Bible talks about. Carry that light into all the world. And that's what, we, what we're about. And now I just want to get into the word real quick here and get this word to you so that you, you can, uh, uh, and then like I can say at the end of this we'll give a little salvation prayer for you. If you don't know him today and you think I'm just talking a bunch of gibberish, you know, but you can understand him and know the truth, know, know he is the truth. And he said he would not leave us comfortless and he sent his Holy Spirit as he descended. Before he descended he said, 
one would be coming that would lead us into all truth, and that is His Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God is here, but He would say that the Holy Spirit would not always dwell with man. One day the Holy Spirit is going to be lifted, and that's what it's talking about. And a lot of people will, will read the last book, the book of Revelation, but they don't understand it's, it's the whole truth. You know, don't get a portion of the truth, get the whole truth. And allow the whole truth to transform your life and change you today. And like I said, we're going to start by going over to John, the, the 23rd, the, 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 the first the book of John is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the, of the New Testament. It starts in the New Testament. And we're going over to the book of John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John. And then John, the first chapter. And we're going to start at verse 23. And I'm going to get my little helpers on here. And stuff. And it says, And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. This was John the Baptist talking and talking. And he said, Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. And they, they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why well, baptize thou then, if thou be not the Christ, nor Elijah, neither the prophet? Because they questioned John's his authority to be baptizing people to repentance. John answered them and saying, I baptize with water. Where standing one among you, where there stands one among you, among you, whom you know not. He is it who cometh after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latches out I'm not worthy to unloose. He's talking about he's seeing the path of salvation. That's what we're talking about here today. Seeing the path of salvation. John had his eyes, spiritual eyes open. You need to have your spiritual eyes open today. And that's what this is about, having our spiritual eyes open. Only those blinders will come off. We won't just see our own ambitions, our own goals, but we'll see the will and purpose of God when we have our, when we see the path to salvation. The path to salvation is through Christ. And, and so... And said, verse 28, These things were done in, in uh, uh, Therabra, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God. See, he seeth the path to salvation. He's seeing the path to salvation. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. He says it all in this statement. Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Because he said, he seeth Jesus coming. Jesus can come right there where you are. He can come and come into your heart right now. He can come and be a part of your, be your Lord, be your Savior, be your soon coming King. And that's what we're talking about here today. Seeth Jesus coming and seeing the path to salvation. That's what, and then we're going to go over to John the 14th. We're going to go to the same book. We're going to go over to John 14. It's all in the back, all in the back, because it's only a few chapters up in John. But we're going over to the 14th chapter. Of, of John, and we're going to start reading it at the, at the first verse of chapter 1, uh, chapter 14, and verse 1, let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, this is the, the words of Christ now, believe also in me, in my Father's house are many mansions, and if it, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. So you've got to be seeing the path to salvation. Else you won't. Else 
you won't be ready when he comes. You've got to be ready when he comes. You've got to be ready. And the time of preparation is now. You can't prepare once he's come. You've got to prepare now. And that's what we're talking here. Seeing the path to salvation is something that you need to see now. The preparation is now, not, not when he comes. And I will receive you unto myself, that where I am, yet there you may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. And whether I go, and, and the way ye know, you will only know it when you see it through the through by the, by the stirring and, 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 and unction of your, the, the Holy Spirit, opening up your heart, your mind, your spirit today. Submitting yourself to God, allowing God, Spirit, to, 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 to put His truth in you, His righteousness in you, by by calling on and, and, and on, on Jesus, and, 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 and believing that He is Lord, He is the one that can save us. Like John said, "Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world." And that's what He's saying there. You can only you have to see these things. You have to be seeing the path to salvation. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? See, he had blinders on. He couldn't see. He was a doubter. They called him the doubter. You know, he couldn't see because of his of his flesh. He had to get up out of his flesh. And, and, and rely on His Spirit. And uh, that's what you need to do today. Open up your spirit so God can help you to see the path to salvation. And the path to salvation is through Christ. No other way. The, the people that's out here in the world, the, the, the celebrities and the, and the people that's saying there's other ways, there's no other way. There's only one way, and that way is, is through Jesus Christ. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Because he, you have to, through, only through Christ can you see the path of salvation. He is the one that made the path, created the path, opened up a, a, a way that we can see the path and have a, have, a, have a way. Without Him there would be no way. And if ye had known me, you should have known my Father also, and for henceforth you know Him and see Him. And see, they, He was telling these, the, them there that the only way they, they could go to the Father is through Him, because at this time He had, he had made the atonement for sin, but he already had to see the path of salvation. He knew the path to the cross. He knew he had to be the one that, that would be sacrificed for the sins of the world because he'd already, he already knew what, what John had said, said. He knew John's heart. He knew John's thoughts. And he knew what John was saying. Behold, one cometh. Behold, the Lamb of God cometh. The Lamb of God, the, the Lamb that was slain because in the temple worship they had to slay a lamb. They had to take the blood of an innocent lamb. And that's what Jesus was. He what became the innocent lamb, the, the weight of salvation. And we, we have to uh, see the path to salvation through Jesus Christ. He was the worthy lamb. He is the lamb of, that, that was slain for our sins. And that was uh, 1 through 7 of, of, of John 14. Now we're going to go, we're going to flip all the way to the end. We're going to go over to Revelation. And we're going to close out with that, with these scriptures here. And so we can do communion and stuff. Uh, we're going to go over to Revelation, the, the fifth chapter of Revelation. The book of Revelation is the last book of the, of the, of, uh, the New Testament. And we're going to go over to Revelation. And, and we're going to go to Revelation and we're going to start chapter 5 of 
and we're going to go to verse 8. And we're going to start at verse 8. And, 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 and cause this is about worthy is the Lamb. And when he had taken the book, and the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are vapors, which are, are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou hast, thou wast slain, and it's talking about Christ, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, and out of every kindred. No other Muhammad didn't give no blood for no man. He, Buddha hasn't given a drop of blood for any man since. Neither has any 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 religion, any false god, any idol god has given any blood for anyone. But here it is telling you that Christ gave His blood; He was slain, and was, and and has redeemed us to God by His blood. And out of every kindred and that tongue and people and nation, verse ten, and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. And behold, and I heard the voice of, a, of many angels around about the throne. And the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessings. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I say, blessing, and honor, and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four be said, Amen. And you may say Amen as well. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshiped him that liveth forever and ever and ever. You got the Worship the Lamb. You got to receive Him as Lord. Receive Him because He is worthy, so that you can see the path to salvation and the path to righteousness, and you can walk in that path. You can journey that path. You can travel that path. That path to salvation, and that is only through Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the, and the light. He is the door. He is, he is the door, the way to heaven, the way to the, be with the Father, to be in the part of the, the great body of, of Christ, doing the great works that God has called us to do, to lead the others into the kingdom. And that's what it's about today. And that's why I say it's just a little short message about seeing the path to salvation. Seeing the path to salvation. And I hope this message helps someone today. And like I say, you know, if you open up your heart and receive it today, you know, I don't do, I'm not a, a, a long-winded pastor. I don't try to uh, make this thing somewhere where, where an hour long. You know, I'm trying to shorten this thing as much as I can. But like I say, I put this description of this prayer in, 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 in my uh, in my YouTube page description. You can pull it up and you can run it off like I did right here. You can you memorize it if you can memorize it, but it's simple. It's simple points and simple facts, and a simple way to, to find the path to to salvation today, right now. And we're gonna pray it right now with you, and then we're gonna do communion. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, open up the ears and hearts and minds of those, those out there today, the Lord God, allow them, Lord God, to hear hear these words. This uh, this this this. Uh, this this prayer, Lord God, as we know you are 
you are open to your ears, Lord God, and, 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 and ready to receive by your spirit. And right now, we ask each one out there right now, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, Lord God. I want to see that path to, to salvation. I want to be on that path. I want to be part of, of the body of Christ. I want to be part of you, Lord. I want you to come into me and, and, and abide in me. I want you to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Cleanse my of, of, of all sins, because I know you were the you was that worthy lamb that was slain, Lord God, uh, predestined to do it through, by by the words of, of the prophets and all those that, that came before you, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord God, that you you, you saved me of my sins, cleanse me of all my righteousness, bow me to see that path of salvation today. Fill me with your Spirit, Lord God. Allow me, Lord God, to have uh, uh, be, uh, stand worthy and clean, white as snow before you, Lord God, this this day. And I give you all the glory and honor and praise in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Come in now and abide with me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And if you said that prayer, God is worthy. He's worthy and, 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 and he wants to do what he says. He says uh, and he's a just God to forgive you of all your sins. All your sins. Up and so, what this little uh, thing says is what we must do to be saved. The first, we must admit we're sinners. You have to admit that you're sinners. That's what G uh, uh, John came before Jesus to, 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 to pave the way and, and, uh, for, for repentance. And then Jesus came to, so that we could see a path of salvation was through Him. Because the only way, because He allowed it. That, um, them to know that the only way to the Father was through him, that the Father had sent him to be the way. And, and he, now he is the way. He is the path to salvation. And then that's Romans uh, 3 and 23. And then they repent like like, like uh, uh, John was, was teaching them how to about repentance. And before that you can become righteous, but it wasn't the same as as Jesus became the new covenant that made us justified and righteous through Him. Because and, and, uh, before they gave the animal sacrifice, but now Jesus became the worthy lamb. And then we have to ask Jesus to save us, just like we just did. And if you did, He is a just God to forgive you. And, and He will, and He has. And now walk in that righteousness. Walk in Him. Allow Him to be your Lord. And then, uh, like I said, that's when you can pull more scriptures up there, Romans 10 and 13, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Uh, 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 uh. And then you got to get you a Bible. Like I say, find a Bible. Get you a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get a Bible app. There's, there's all kinds of Bible apps. You can have a Bible app and stuff. You know, the technology, you can have a Bible app on your hard drive. You can do that. There's no excuses. And then go find a nice church. You can do an online church. You can do a Zoom church. You can go to some church. There's a church somewhere. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't go, go find a good restaurant. You'll find it. You go to another one until you find a good one. Find a good one. There, or start one. That's what I. That's what this is. Just go start one. You know, this motivates yourself to, to get, find more like minded people like like you now that you are a child of God find the like minded people to help lift you up and to help you to start your path to salvation and, and help you grow in that path and that's what Christ said he, the, 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 uh, the Holy Spirit would, would lead us into all truth that's to help us to uh, sanctify ourselves before his coming and then, like I say, you know, uh, remind the devil what, 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 what it's all about. What, what's happened now is you are a child of God. You, God is your, God is your, uh, your Lord, your Savior. And, and, and teach others as, as well and, and, and lead others into that truth as well. And so now we're going to go over, uh, that's the end of this that message and stuff, but we're going to go over to and have communion. Communion, I usually just do it out of uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and the 11th chapter of Corinthians down to the 23rd 
verse, First Corinthians, and I put this in the description page where you can find it as well. And there's cross. You can go. You can go to other places. There's a there's a, uh, a thing also at Mark where you can find uh, find it as well and stuff. And, uh, but we're going to start here, and it says. For I have received of the Lord, that's which also I have delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And you can find, uh, you can just take, you can buy some communion stuff as well through, through this website. Or you can just, as long as you just take a piece of bread, a crumb, a cracker, anything, and, 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 and it represents the body of Christ. And when he had given thanks, he break it. And said, Take, eat this my body, which is broken for you. Do this do in remembrance of me. In the same manner also, he took the cup. And a lot of people hung up on should they use wine or shouldn't they use wine? That's up to your discretion. You know, you shouldn't, I don't think, because of the fact that you don't want to get hooked up on wine. <laughs> you know, you want to keep your body a holy temple before God. So, I use grape juice. You can buy the good old grape juice from Walmart, any, any grocery store and stuff. You can buy some good old, but take the cup and said, this cup, is the New Testament in my blood. That that's what makes us worthy. It's His blood. No other other man has given his has laid down his life for, for the sins of the world. It said, Jesus, behold, the Lamb of God who was slain for the sins of the world. This do it and, and drink as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. And then it tells you on through 27 to 34 about what it is to be unworthy. Drinking it unworthy. You know, taking light of it and drinking it unworthy. You know, and there's many out there that do. But you know, God wants you to see the path to salvation today and help you and want you to teach others and learn others the, the way of that path and, and how to find it. And that's what here we are about here at Major Faith Worship Center too, is to help you to find it. And if you like I said, you can hit me some likes and, and stuff and that'll be good, you know, and stuff but, uh, But God bless you. God bless your day. I hope this message uh, touches your heart and allow you to touch others' hearts with it. You know, share it. Like I said, share it. And God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful week. We're about to go to this next week. We'll be into July and we'll, we'll, a new month at the Lord's Terry, and we'll, 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 we can celebrate again and, and, and fellowship with Him and His work. Let's, because we have, now we can see the path to salvation. You know, that's what we want to keep a clear uh, 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 path. You know, that you can't, you don't want things in the path. And that, that, that's what the devil will try to put all kinds of things in your path. He wants to block your path. You know, that's how football, how football is. You've got to block the path. The path is, is to get to that goal, to get that ball. Cross those, cross those, uh, cross that, the, the, the goal post, you know, and that's what we have to set a goal. Paul, Paul said, you know, he was looking at what was ahead, not what was behind, you know. He was looking ahead, and that's what we have to do. We have, we're on a path to salvation, you know. We're working out our salvation daily with fear and trembling, you know, and our salvation, our and, and more sanctified and righteous before Christ, who is our, who is the perfect righteousness in us, not of our own, but of Him in us. And that's what it's about today. I'm through with the message here. But, you know, God bless you. God bless your week. God bless your day. 
God bless you and thank you for being here at Major Faith Worship Center. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers from Major Faith Worship Center, India. Pastor Babu, Babu and his family and the great work that we're doing over there and pray for these other these uh, these other churches. You know, we just dedicated one church this this past week. And, uh, matter of fact, on my birthday, we dedicated a church in the uh, Nagada Nalagada village and, and stuff. And uh, uh, with, uh, also with, uh, Pastor Phillips Church uh, in, in Bagara Vizagara uh, Vizagara that's what, and, and my mind has to be mispronouncing those. If you can look it up, you can te text it and, or text it. Pastor Babu Megabu. You can pull him up and friend him on Facebook. He's a he's an open mind, open person, and, 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 and a true man of God. And, and uh, you can find out all that information. And we appreciate all that you can do. And like I say, if you can help him in any kind of way, you know, we're, we're doing these things a stone at a time. You know, we're doing it a stone at a time. You know, sometimes it's that, you know, that, that's the way to do it. You know, the temple, the, uh, the temple was only the, the built a stone at a time, but Jesus said He was the cornerstone, and that's what we're about being the cornerstone, helping the, uh, 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 the second stone from the cornerstone to help this build, to build more churches, creating more for the kingdom of God. Stuff. And God bless you, and I thank you for all that you're doing on it and for your, for your time in Jesus' name. Amen.